Am I doing too much? Do you understand my slang and get my sense of humor? Do you understand my slang and get my sense of humor? <laughs> uh, barely. Thanks for the subtitles. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Old Men in Chairs. And now for something completely different. <laughs> the three young gentlemen you see on the screen, two of them were not familiar to me before I saw this video. On the left is Young Cook. He is one of the Korean pop stars that came up through the BTS group. In the middle is the kid Leroy. He's apparently from Australia. This is his song, and the other two people are featured. Now, you may recognize the fellow on the right. That is Central C. I did do his video, Sprinter, that he did with his friend Dave, which was hilarious. Very thick London accent, as you'll see, but very, very funny lyrics. That song didn't do particularly well on my channel. It has like 100 million views, maybe, or more. It's a huge smash hit for him. But this is really odd. You're bringing together three stars, but three different genres, really, of music, all brought in together in one song. So it's just a mind blower. It's interesting that I'm 72 years old, almost 73 now. I think if you add the ages of all three of these kids together, they wouldn't come up to 73. They're quite young, especially Kid Leroy, I think, is barely over 20. I'm an old man, but I could still relate to this music because once you hear it, and I've heard it a number of times, this is not a first time reaction, I'm old. It takes me a while to really understand the music and what's going on. But once you hear it, this is a smash too. This will be another 100 million viewer song. And because of copyright, we may have to blank out the screen. When I first heard King Leroy, to me, he sounds like Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's got that that great, I don't even know how to describe it. He's just got a beautiful voice and knows how to use it. The intro chorus was by Young Cook, and that's about all he does is sing that chorus. But this is Kig Leroy's song, so he's going to be the featured artist here. Was it too much? So tell me what got in the way And how I thought it was good that it changed And I'm saying I'm sorry again Oh, I can never get out of my way It's a story your what draws Obviously, the song is about a broken relationship. Things were going well, and then for some reason they fell apart. Then he was very de depressed about it and laid in bed eating shrooms, thinking about her. She was the only one. He's the only one she could think of. I guess we've all been there. <laughs> At least I have. I love you the way that I do now. I never knew how. If we had the chance and the time to spend, would you do it again? Would you do it again? Was it too much? Uh. Was it too much? Uh, now you're calling your friends Cause I'm gone again When I'm back around Would you do it again? Was it too much? Uh, was it too much? Uh, was it too much? Am I doing too much? Do you understand my slang And get my sense of humor? Do you understand my slang And get my sense of humor? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, barely. Thanks for the subtitles, but I do get the sense of humor. This is Central C. What an odd thing. You got this pop song, and then all of a sudden you're going to jump off with this rap in the middle, and it's hilarious. Was it too much? Was it too much? Am I doing too much? Do you understand my slang and get my sense of humor? When your girlfriends tell you I've been fucking around, would you believe me if I told you that they're lying and that's just a rumor? Send you my personal driver, man, this ain't just a Uber. You know it's serious when you stay at mine and bring a toothbrush. Extra panties in your bag or some makeup removers. You know I'm hardly on my own because I stay with the shooters. She call me daddy, she got issues, I am not a father. Hop off the boat and take the jet, leave the yacht at the harbor. She injecting with a zen bitch trying to stop her hunger. Huh. I don't know if... Young people taking Ozempic is a thing, <laughs> or it's just a little play on the fact that Ozempic does supposedly cause people to lose weight. I've actually been on Ozempic for a couple months. I had to stop it. I developed terrible stomach pains, which I'm still not quite through. It's a powerful drug. I wouldn't recommend anybody get on it unless they are seriously overweight. I was taking it for diabetes and sugar control it does that it definitely do works but if you can handle the side effects that's the question so i just thought i'd bring that up as a warning to my older gentlemen who may be watching the boat until the jet leave the yacht at the harbor She inject them with a zen bitch trying to stop her hunger huh, i wank before you came so i could fuck you longer s650 <laughs> well you got to be a pretty young man to do that i can understand when you're in your 20s, perhaps, you don't want it to end too quickly for her sake. You want her to get the full benefit of your manhood. <laughs> An older gentleman would never do that. Then with a zen bitch trying to stop her hunger huh, I wank before you came so I could fuck you longer SC50 chauffeur driven just type your address in Pack your bag on we can board the next flight we could check in Make sure you check that you ain't full of your antidepressants before Make sure you've got all your antidepressants before we go on this trip because don't make me regret it. <laughs> I guess a lot of women are on those pills, a huge amount of women. And if, if they weren't on them, uh, you might regret spending some time with them. That's a sad commentary on the world. We can board the next flight, we could check in. Make sure you check that you ain't full of your antidepressants. Before I fly you out again and you made me regret it. Set time, pour it up, and say one to the head, top down, almost crash, cause I'm looking at your tears, begging for it, and you're mad about shit I never said, double test, no reply, but I'm knowing that you read it. You're mad about shit I never said. <laughs> How often does that happen? How often does something you said get totally misinterpreted as being something totally different from what you thought you were trying to say? Uh, that's a little communication breakdown there. And you're mad about shit I never said Double test, no reply, but I'm knowing that you read it What you say, hit me back, what's the move now? In my brain, no one else is just you now Let me love you the way that I do now I never knew how If we had the chance and the time to spend Would you do it again, would you do it again? Was it too much? Uh, uh, was it too much? Uh, now you call your friends Cause I'm gone again When I'm back around, would you do it again? I guess it must have been a little too much for her. She put the cigarette out in his face. <laughs> <laughs> burned a hole in the magazine. Actions speak louder than words. Uh, seriously, what a great combination of talents, a great, great pop song. I know it's not something I normally do, but I absolutely love Central C. I would watch almost anything he was in. I, I love the accent. I love the humor. He tells it like it is. You know, he's, he's real. He's keeping it real. A lot of fun. Every now and then we got to have a little fun, right? Especially when you get older, and this one was a great, great show.